What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum. I've got two cards that came in the mail this week that I want to show to you, and obviously you can see here, the first one's already open, but it's from a set that I've been grabbing quite a bit lately. I say quite a bit, I don't know, maybe I'm at five or six of these by now, but it's the Retro Materials set from the most recent National Treasures release, and this is a Rick Mahorn Sixers patch. So I had a Rick Mahorn pistons patch but um, like I said I've been trying to pick this set up and I'll be honest I need to look at the checklist for this set because uh, I keep finding these so if there's like you know 40 guys in this or whatever which there shouldn't be I'm, I'm guessing there's probably like 20 but if there's like 40 guys in this then maybe I should reconsider that and just grab as many as um, as many as I see for cheap which I think is going to be my strategy so anyway Rick Mahorn card there uh, this next card here you saw it in the title it is a Lonzo Ball card, so I, you know, I ruined that part of the surprise for you. But um, the people that know me, that have listened to the show, that know my collection, um, at least one of them reached out to me when I said, "Hey, I bought a Lonzo Ball card," and he knew exactly which one it was. So kudos to those of you that uh, follow my content, that are are paying attention to the things that I like. Um, but I'm excited to show this one off here. So this is, and as you can see, it is in an SGC slab. I'm trying to get this off of here so I can get this card out of here. I don't need this seller's card here. Um, this is interesting. I don't think I have an SGC card in a thick slab. That's kind of weird. The back is raised. I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not, but I suppose it keeps the slab itself from being too thick, so that's kind of interesting. But this is a 2017-2018 Panini Status Lonzo Ball Draft Night Autograph. Um, I don't think it's ever been called Draft Night Autographed, so I don't know why that says that on the SGC slab. A couple odd things with this slab already. But uh, anyway, the significance of these is that these were, as the name suggests, signed on draft night. And I know I've shown some of these before. The 2017 version was in status and had these big stickers on this open area here. The 2018 version was in status, but it was kind of built into the card. It looked a lot nicer. 2019 version then moved to Illusions. We didn't have a 2020 version because of the COVID draft. Although I feel like they could have probably sent stickers to those players in the mail, but they chose not to. And then the most recent iteration, which I have shown a Chris Duarte from, uh, that's in recon. So this set has moved around a little bit. Um, I know for a fact that these were signed at draft night because there, there's a Panini blog that says so. I found a Beckett page that says the 2018 that confirmed that they were. Um, I've seen uh, pictures of Zion signing his at his draft, so I know that the 2019 class did. And um, I don't know about the Duarte class that I talked about because I haven't seen any indication from them. It's kind of weird. Panini's never put anything out. Uh, for this most recent draft, that'll be, uh, you know, these cards will be coming out in a year or whenever. I did see the Nuggets post one of their players signing the stickers, but Panini didn't post anything. So it's weird now that Panini's losing the license. We're getting more draft coverage from the individual teams of them signing their cards and stuff. But anyway, long story short, um, I felt like this was significant just because all of the hype surrounding Lonzo Ball in the draft and his dad, LeVar, and, and all of the uh, theater that went with that, I felt like of all the 2017 status draft autographs, this was, um, you know, he was the one that had the most fanfare around him. Not to say that he's the best player because obviously Jason Tatum is more desirable um, you know, Lonzo Ball has, has been plagued by injuries, as many people mentioned, even when people were trying to invest in him. But anyway, this is a Lonzo Ball um, status card that I'm, for, for now at least, I'm adding to my collection. Don't know if it'll stay there forever, but um, thought it was pretty cool, so I decided to add that. So remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>